This is the Dumb Sons of Bitches podcast. said that uh, I left my card at the Mexican restaurant a few weeks ago and uh, <laughs> and uh, I disconnected my uh, account or my uh, card and it took me a week to get this one well where I've been ordering I guess tropic this is my this is my theory somebody got in my account and bought a hundred and forty dollars worth of stuff on Amazon. Like what? I don't know. It doesn't say. It just said it was an Amazon purchase for one hundred and forty dollars. Well, I was like, I haven't put this information on Amazon yet, so somebody must have got my information, and I'm pretty sure it's Tropical Smoothie Cafe. You think the restaurant is buying things with your card? I think somebody. Saw my information, took it, and buying shit online. Because, like I said, I didn't put my information, my new card, on Amazon yet. <clears throat> so I went to the bank yesterday and got a temporary one. And I'm going to call the number on the back of my old card to see if they can find that shit out. So, yeah. Jesus Christ, you're dealing with that, and I'm dealing with phones. Yeah. <laughs> so if that. the podcast doesn't know, I've broke. Six phones in six years. It's an incredible <laughs> yes. streak. It's up there with DiMaggio's 56-game hitting streak <laughs> in baseball. It's up there with The Undertaker's undefeated streak at WrestleMania. 21-0. <laughs> it's it's going to keep happening, too, because I'm going to keep dropping phones. That's just what I do. And my mom's like, well, you got to stop breaking phones. I'm like, Mom, it's, it's deeper than that. It's deep. There's, there's more fundamental issues than this. <laughs> I can't just stop dropping it. Yeah. I can't stop dropping my phone and breaking it. I had an OtterBox. Mm-hmm. I broke a fucking OtterBox. I had liquid glass on my phone, which is like a window on your phone. Right. I broke that. I'm not going to stop dropping phones. I will say this, though. When we would go to the gym, you would drop your phone on the floor and break its fall with your foot. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> you do that like, all the time. If, if I... uh. Yeah, if I'm about to do a set or something, and I have my phone in my hand, I will drop it, not screen down, right. on its back, and land it on my foot to break the fall. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if that just Helps. slowly beats it down <laughs> to the point of breaking at a later date, but it probably has something to do with it. All right. So yeah, I dropped it just playing cornhole, walking back and forth, <laughs> texting in between innings, and uh, dropped it, and it was done. Dunzo. You had a massive It had line. two big old bars in the middle. <laughs> yeah. So people couldn't I couldn't see what people were saying. And I remember I was in a group chat texting and they sent a message and I said, I can't read what you're saying. Yeah. And they're like, What are you fucking stupid? <laughs> and I was like, No, I got two bars in the middle of my screen. Like you have to put that text to the side there, bud. Yeah, we were sending snaps to you. With the, the the words right in the middle of those bars, or we would we would move the words onto the side of the oh, picture. Yeah. That's, that's the only way I could like I could see the first half of a sentence, 
Yeah. I, I, I could see the first quarter of the sentence <laughs> and miss the whole middle, and then I could <laughs> see the fourth quarter of the sentence. That's all I could do. It takes you ten minutes to be like, what are they In saying? In Snapchat, you can't, uh, you can't go uh, la- landscape. Is that is that the where you can flip it yeah. and see it from the side? Right. You can't do that, so. Yeah. I could, if you were texting me in a regular portrait, I couldn't see what you were saying. <laughs> and I did that for about a week. Yeah. I got kind of good at it. <laughs> and then I got a new phone, so. Um, Mac. What is the date today? Uh, the, uh, is it the 20th? Yep. It's June 20th when we're recording this. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll probably have a new phone by the by June 20th, 2021. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. It just keeps happening. It's just a common theme for you. It's that, ah, oh, shit, here we go again. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, shit, here we go again. Verizon gets... I go on Verizon once a year. Yeah. Just to get a new phone. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a trend that's just going to keep happening. <laughs> what is this motherfucker going to stop breaking phones? The thing about Verizon is there's new workers every year. Yeah. How long do they keep people at, at Verizon? Yeah. I've noticed that with U.S. Cellular. Yeah, uh, what's the shelf life for a... Uh, a, re- a phone retail worker. Mm-hmm. Like six months? I'd say it's a stressful job. They just got to deal with people like, Did you fix my fucking phone? Can oh you get me a new phone? It's not even that. It's just, I can't unlock my phone. It's just like carrier shit too. Like problems. Like yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't want that job. No. Jesus Christ. I don't know nothing about technology either. I'm a dummy. <laughs> I'm just like, get, get me a new phone, please. <laughs> one thing goes wrong with my phone, get me a new one, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I've been stealing upgrades like it's my job. Mm. Like, where I break my phone every year, I have, you know, s- there's some options to get upgrades, and uh, there's options to get new phone or refurbished phones they send to you. Mm. And I have stolen like four upgrades from my family. <laughs> they could have got new galaxies, new notes. And I use the upgrades on myself. Cole's nodding. <laughs> I use the upgrades on myself because I'm selfish. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just break my phone. You were uh, hitting your phone on with your knee. That's the only way I could have uh, keep it uh, to keep it alive. <laughs> like if the screen went black, I would have to hit it really hard. Mm-hmm. The only way to get it to light up was to put a charger in it, yeah. so it'd light up and I could swipe it to unlock it. Yeah. Or beat it on my knee repeatedly until the screen came back up, and then swipe it. So yeah, that's that's what I dealt with last week. <laughs> well, uh, last week, last weekend, I went to Charlotte, and I was going to tell Cole about uh, the restaurants I went to because he's a uh, restaurant fanatic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, so I went to get to Charlotte to see my brother for the weekend, and. Uh, if you guys don't know, he's a pretty like now he's a pretty well known chef in Charlotte. I mean he's he's been through several restaurants down there at the time he's lived there, and uh, he's t- he he took me to like one of the his uh, special uh, his favorite spots, and one in particular is uh, called Pinkies. Pinkies, and I think it was the dope it was the dopest place I've been to in Charlotte when it comes to restaurants it was just a little chilled retro uh uh restaurant that had uh kind of like the old uh monster horror movie themes so it had like pictures of frankenstein dracula and all that and uh we ordered uh it was probably last year we ordered a uh for delivery and i got a chicken sandwich with uh, coleslaw and peanut butter. Uh, yeah, it sounds insane, but it was delicious. So I got it again. You like coleslaw? Not really. It was kind of dry. Dude, coleslaw slept on. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm not like I'm not a big fan of it, but our, our it was friends good think on I'm it. disgusting for liking coleslaw, and I'm like, like it's yeah. it's good. I get that with cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese. I don't care for it too much. Mm. I can get real gross with cottage cheese. I like mixing it with corn. <laughs> you know, <I'm>, <laughs> I don't know. It's fucking God, weird. Bring corn situation. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, we went there and we went to uh another restaurant called the Goodyear House, 
and good year tires. <laughs> and uh, I got a burger, but Jeff said you have to get the bacon on it. It's the base best bacon I've ever had. They get it from Tennessee. It's smoked. It is n- no other bacon you've like ever had. Mm-hmm. It was the best bacon I ever had. But uh, next time we go to North Carolina, we gotta go to these places. Hey. But uh, I also got a tattoo, and it's finally healing up, a little scabby. But that place is pretty cool, coast to coast. Shout out to them, really chill people. Tattoo artists are chill. They are. And I fucking told you they got cool names. <laughs> yeah. Every tattoo artist has a cool name. <laughs> We talked about this last night, how this podcast is like... Predicting things? Predicting. Uh, well, we're living on Twitter, and like, viral tweets, or I get, it'll be like, well, what was the ones last night? Uh, it was like, guys need to start wearing short shorts, shorts again. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> we already, we already been on that. You're two weeks late. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing them right now. Yeah. <laughs> Look how much leg that shows. <laughs> I am wearing pants but yeah cuff the jeans cuff the bitches no, but. <laughs> no well, i'm against that i am against the, the jean cuffing at the sh- at the shoe i'd rather wear my big jeans i can't wear baggy jeans on when they're at the feet I, I boot cut yeah i can't i can't do that i can't do it either but i do it anyways because i have to work right. in pants and yeah. i'm like well if we're gonna wear jeans we're gonna wear them on friday <laughs> big jean friday See, that's a trend, too. Yeah. We're trying to get trendy here. <laughs> Just find the biggest baggy jeans you can f- find. A pair of jeans that literally could fit two people and just wear them. Mm-hmm. Big belt. Yeah. Big old belt. I can't. <laughs> well, you're going to have to. you got to try it. Yeah. I'll stick with the short shorts. Even though I, I, I don't have any jorts. We talked about jorts. Yeah. I need to wear jorts because John Cena wears jorts. John Cena wrestles in jorts. <laughs> Stone Cold did, too. Yeah, he wore jorts. Short, short ones. Yeah. Yes. Jean shorts. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really short. So maybe... <laughs> He's the OG. If they can rock them... Well, they're superstars, but... If they can rock them, <laughs> I can rock them. That's the kind of standard to hold myself to. <laughs> John Cena. If John Cena can wear jorts, the host of a Dumb Sons of Bitches podcast can wear jorts, certainly. WWE aesthetic. <laughs> Featuring Steve. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so what do you, what's going on with you? What do you mean with me? What'd you do? You went golfing, right? All I do is golf. Yeah. That's all I do. Golf, work, Did lift. it rain on you? Huh? Did it rain on you? Oh, I got shit on. Yeah. Yeah, I got shit on by rain. I tried to ride my bike yesterday. It took me three times to actually, uh, do the whole, uh, session because it just kept raining on me. I was like, God damn. Fucking weather. Well, it was our it was the last week of spring. Yeah. It's already almost July. Oh god. I'm ready for this year to end though. I am and I'm not, because it's kinda entertaining. It's entertaining, but it it's is dark. Stressful. But it's entertaining. I'm aging faster. I'm aging like a motherfucker. Yeah. Even though people think I'm like twenty. <clears throat> It's yeah. so weird. People are like, you look, are you old enough to drink? All right. I'm like, I'm old enough to be your dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old enough to be your father. I had a kid when I was 15. <laughs> uh, yikes. But yeah, should, should we get into the, to the news, the crazy news? What crazy news? What's crazy news anymore? It's just news. It's just news. <laughs> it's just news. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what we can pick out first. Well, Virginia's not opening to phase three. What is phase three? What is phase three? Here's a chart. Can we zoom in? You just talk about phase three, and then I'll tell you why it doesn't mean anything. Okay. Phase three. Non-essential retail open. Restaurants and beverage services open. Full, like, 100%? Yeah. Entertainment venues open with 50%. Uh, like a theater? arena? Yeah, th- uh, movie theaters. Mm-hmm. Fitness and exercise, 75%. Beaches open. Gatherings, 250-person limit. Teleworking, strongly encouraged. 
uh, face covering required. Required. Child care open. Personal grooming open. Private campgrounds open. Overnight summer camps closed. State parks open. Yeah, well, I'm going to tell you why phase three doesn't make a shit. <laughs> because I've been doing the same things during phase one. Yeah. That I, when quarantine started, I kind of didn't change anything up. I kind of did the same things. Yeah. I golfed <laughs> and I lifted weights at home. Yeah. Now I'm going to the gym and still golfing. <laughs> so, like, the only thing I couldn't do was eat inside of a restaurant. And that's, But I still ate at restaurants. Yeah. But that's depending on where you go to. Yeah. Bars, I guess, are still opening. Even though I have no desire to go to a bar right now. No. I have no desire. No. I have no desire to drink, really. No. I guess July 4th, I'll get trashed. I am taking Dad to 622 North. To, Today? For Father's Day, yeah. Wow. I what? guess they'd be open. Huh? He's never been. I guess they'd be open. I think they were open, but... They're open, I see people on the porch. Yeah. Might have to get reservations. I don't know. Nah, I don't. I don't. I doubt it. Yeah, I never had their dinner though. But, anyways, so yeah, that's what's going on yeah, in I don't Virginia. Yeah, phase three. Yeah, phase two's enough. Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing a lot. Um, let's see. Here it is. We can talk about North Korea. I don't even know what they're doing. North Korea is bombing shit. Bombing what? Cole, give us a quick rundown on North Korea. Well, I don't know about the bombing. I just know that uh, they are sending military into the demilitarized zone. Hmm. Yes. In South Korea? Yep. Why? They, they Why? want that shit. <laughs> Why do they do this? And also... Uh, Why is he like this? First off, you were supposed to be dead. Yeah. You were supposed to be fucking dead. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? He did fake his dad, didn't he? Yeah. That yeah. theory that he faked his own death to see who supported him? Yeah. That might be true. I think so. I never thought he was dead. Because if you... The news, I don't care how censored North Korea is, mm-hmm. if he was dead, you would know about it. Yeah. I feel like. Imagine if Donald Trump died. <sighs> or, like, they would have intel on uh, yeah. countries, even if... It was censored or not. You would have intel whether they were alive or not. Yeah. I swear you would. Yeah. Even though... You couldn't get away from it. You'll see it everywhere. No. <clears throat> no. And some country who has contact with North Korea, if any, would know about it, and I'm sure that would get out. Yeah. So I never thought he was dead. Right. I hoped he was dead. <laughs> I wanted him to be dead. Right. But... They were talking but, about that his sister would take over, too, and she looks scary as fuck. She's a scary woman. <laughs> yeah. They said she's worse. I did read that, but... Well, how would you know? Yeah. She's not in power. She does look more scary than that fat fuck. Yeah, he's just a... He's just a fat boy. Yeah. He's probably pissed that Golden Corral got closed. Yeah. <laughs> North Korea, Korea does video it, shows demolished. Doesn't he watch cartoons? He watch basketball. Yeah, he does watch basketball. Dennis Rodman is his best friend, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I thought he used to watch... I don't know if it was his dad. Kim Jong-un's dad. Kim Jong Il, I think, is his name. But Kim Jong Un had like an obsession with like children's cartoons. Let me see. Uh, likes Kim Jong Un car- likes cartoons, so he remade North Korea. Oh my gosh, he, <laughs> he made a cartoon. So he remade North Korea's favorite favorite one. The Boy General aired its first new episode in about two decades. Only now, the animator is better. Animation is better. The hero is all grown up, and the cartoon serves as propaganda for the state. I'm pretty sure he likes... Look up Betty Boop. <laughs> what is... Do you remember that cartoon? I don't think It's I'm an better. old-timey cartoon. Nothing we grew up watching. Does Kim Jong-un watch Betty Boop? I don't know if he does, or his dad might have watched it. Like, as a leader. Like, he yeah. would take breaks from, like, military meetings and go watch that cartoon. Interesting. Because I, I don't know if their brains are fully developed. <laughs> I think they are children. Right. But getting on to cartoons, why would I make fun of Kim Jong-un for watching cartoons when we make Spongebob references all the time? Right. And we just talked about cartoons on a podcast a few weeks ago. 
So, am I a hypocrite or not? <sighs> Making fun of a leader for watching cartoons. <laughs> and I'm yeah. over here talking about Courage of Cowardly Dog. Yeah. And uh, all of our friends are into anime except for me. What's up with that? Yeah, I don't know. Do you watch anime? It, I mean, not really, but I've, I've watched a few, yeah. I've watched one the other day. I literally refuse mm. to watch it. I mean... I don't like cartoon shows. I like... I like the Japanese culture, so I don't know. I, I watched Bleached for the longest time. That was a kick-ass show. I refuse to watch Rick and Morty. I, I never got into Rick and Morty. Big Mouth. Oh, that's not that cool. I only watched a few episodes of that. And what I watched, it was funny. And, uh, like, my brother's into F is for Family. And that's that's Bill Burr. And I watched three episodes. That That's pretty funny, too. Call me an asshole. I just feel like I'm too old to watch cartoons. Maybe. I'm used to a certain kind of cartoon, and it was when I was a kid. Right. I just don't think I could get back into it. Maybe. Call me uncultured. Do whatever. I know what I'm into. <laughs> I know myself as a person. Well, <laughs> I guess that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just can't get into cartoons, and Kim Jong-un's balls deep in it, it sounds. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know what he's blowing up. Uh, let's see. At liaison office. Peacock's got hit movies. Ah, mm-hmm. oh, shit. Stupid ads, I tell you what. an ad. No, fuck it. Uh, let me go back. I don't know what he's doing. Why does he do this, though? He's evil. He always, like, he's, like, poking the bear. He is. And the bear not meaning us, like, the world. It's like, he, like you'll hear, like, somewhat positive news of him. Like, like he's shaking trying to hands, do good. Yeah. Or, or him walking into South Korea. Yeah. That one time he walked into, didn't he walk into South Korea and like the South Korean president or so, or something walked into North Korea? Yeah, they they, they, they were crossed like a, the line. They, they were across the lines for like the first time ever. Yeah. And then he's like, "Yeah, that was cool. Let's blow shit up. Yeah, let's just fuck them up. Let's just aggravate people. That's yeah. what he does. He just aggravates people. He's yeah. a fucker. He is. I see. Is threatening to send troops to demilitarize zones along the border with South Korea as tensions rise uh, between the two countries. And this is coming, of course, just a day after Pyongyang blew up a liaison office, often used mm-hmm. for official meetings between both of those countries. <laughs> why? Are you a freaking idiot? <laughs> no. Wait, why'd you ask that? Because he obviously is. <laughs> yeah. You're like, idiot. like, Jesus That's like Christ. Asking Trump's an idiot. Yeah, of course. <laughs> That de facto embassy was officially known as the Inter-Korean Liaison Office, was only established back in 2018 and stood just north of that heavily militarized border uh, across from South Korea in a city known as Kaesong. But now it just doesn't exist. North Korean state leaders <laughs> fucking idiot. Images of the demolition in a now you see it standing. Nobody died. I told you he's a Don't fucking child. Yeah. He just and wants to watch shit blow up. Pyongyang. Nobody died, I don't think. At least I hope not. Dude, the freaking parades are insane. Dude, those, those parades are so coordinated. Look they at those are. steps. Yeah. <laughs> they don't miss a Do step. Do you remember that movie, Blades of Glory? Yeah. Where they had that parade? Yeah. <laughs> Was it North Korea that they were trying to make fun of in that movie? Where they had Probably. a parade? Blades of Glory scene. Look that up. North Korea. Yeah, parade scene. Let's see if we can get that up. Bro, no. It was one of the funniest scenes in that movie. Yeah. Which I think is a good Will Ferrell movie. No, we can't find nothing on this fucking computer. No, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> we can't find anything. No. Was it? Was it like an Olympic... Uh, no, it was them freak. watching film on how to do a certain move. A yeah, certain and then the head... And the head just <laughs> falls off. Yeah, and they're yeah. like, why the fuck would we try that? <laughs> yeah. And they try it and it like shaves his neck whenever they do his it. His neck hair. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, that scene's so funny. <laughs> yeah, but it's like that, that one man in the movie's like, we're going to do the real shit. <laughs> yeah. And then he shows them. <laughs> it's a Korean march. <laughs> and for some reason, there's an ice rink in the middle of the parade. Yeah. And they're skating on it and do the move, and that man's head just comes oh. off. Like, yeah. it happens, and then he just his head just falls off. Yeah. I gotta watch that again. I, we need to find that scene, for yeah. fuck's sake. Let's but see. it's so fucking funny. <laughs> he 
head chop. Head chop. No. There it is, right there. Right there. North Korea. Iron is. Lotus. Turn it up. There it is. There's Kim Jong il. Yeah. They almost have. Let's go. That was the girl. <laughs> <laughs> that would be our reaction. <laughs> I would be freaking John Heater in that moment. Is that, that moment. John Heater? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot John Heater's the girl, Annie. <laughs> well, he's a guy. No, he's the girl. Well, he's in this, the girl in the, in, the, in, the, in the group, yeah. <laughs> What's his Chaz Michaels? Is that who that is? Will Ferrell's character is yeah, Chaz, Chaz Michaels. Yeah, he's Michael. the manlier guy. Yeah. And he's the more feminine guy. So. <laughs> God. What a movie. I, I gotta watch that again. Dude, my mom bought me that movie for Christmas one year. Yeah. She doesn't listen to this bullshit. <laughs> she buys me the movie like a year after it comes out for Christmas. <laughs> She forgets where she hides it from me. I think I remember you telling me that. I'm I, in 2007. I'm in like fifth or sixth grade, fifth grade perhaps, when that movie came out, and I asked for it for Christmas. Yeah. And she bought it, hid it from me, and never found it. It's still gotta be in this house somewhere. It's in this house somewhere. <laughs> she never found it. It's so like a- if you hide presents from your kids. Right. Make sure you know where to put them. <laughs> it's like putting your phone and keys in places in your house. Put them where you'll find them. Yeah. I'm a fifth grader. <laughs> I'm not. I don't think I'll snoop around the house too much. So, so there's a prestige uh, condition blaze of glory. There is a blaze yeah. of glory still in the Amazon little in the plastic in the plastic wrap. somewhere in his house. <laughs> yeah. That needs to be a pot episode. Us finding it? Oh, to, it's like some holy grail shit. It's <laughs> yeah. like finding the, that's an Indiana Jones movie. <laughs> yeah. Find Steve's Blades of Glory. It's 13 years overdue. We've had a history of like movies with your mom. Like she would take us to the the She the took craziest us to watch movies. Jackass in 3D. Yeah. <laughs> a group of us while she was in the back. There was a bunch of us at that movie. Yeah, and if you don't if you've never seen Jackass 3D, it is gross. The only thing it is, is foul. the only real there's a there's like two things about Jackass 3D that I remember, and it's shit coming at you, yeah, and it's dildos coming dildos. at you. Yes. And my mom, we, we were young. We could, no, we were in like seventh grade, something like that, yeah. And uh, we went and watched it, and there were so many people in that damn theater. Yeah, my mom couldn't sit with us, so she was sitting with a bunch of college dudes. Right, right. The the lone woman, <laughs> middle aged woman, sitting with a bunch of college dudes, and I would look back at her while, and she was laughing her fucking ass off. <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't hear her doing it. Yeah, oh, um, I would just look back casually, and she <laughs> she would lose her shit. <laughs> yeah, she would take us to all the movies. Halloween, Rob Zombie's Halloweens, Jesus. No, the face stop. <laughs> yeah, but uh, going back to. On this podcast, we, we say the F word a lot. Yeah, we talked about this last night, too. Oh, my God. I didn't realize it until I started listening. I say the F word a bunch. I do, too. And it makes me feel dumb. Yeah. Like, if you can't find any... What did Rogan say about cuss words? They're just fillers. For yeah. things you don't know how to say or don't know how to explain it. You're like, you're like fucking, you know, <laughs> fucking... Fuckery. Yeah, it, it's. I just feel so dumb yeah. listening to myself Yeah. say the F word over and over. Yeah. And where I'm an English English major, I should know. Yeah, why are you saying birth. the F word? I don't know. Over and over. I get that a lot. Like, uh, if you're an English major, you should be able to like talk better. Like, no, that's not how it works. See, that's literally what I just said. Uh, yeah, but like, that's not how it works. You can you can major in English and be better at writing than you are speaking. I guess that's how I am. Yeah, I I, I talk simplistic. Talk simplistic. Yeah. I kind of talk way more way. I talk more intelligent than I am. I feel mm. like I, be, I use big words and shit. Yeah. I don't necessarily do it on purpose either. You you say like vintage. You have like a vintage vocabulary. It's weird. <laughs> what do you mean vintage? Like the words I use? Yeah. I brought back the word cuck <laughs> in our group. Yeah. You did. I, I, how many words have I brought? And phrases have I brought to the table here? Fuck that noise. Fuck that noise. Like what someone... the fuck? Well, it's a fucking phrase. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to have a swear jar here? We should. <laughs> That'd be that's a good idea. No! We could do it. 
like how I play golf. Yeah. You play against someone and it's a dollar a hole. Mm-hmm. So if you win a bunch of holes, you get a bunch of dollar bills from that person. Mm-hmm. But if you keep going back and forth, you won't lose a lot of money. If me and you had a swear jar <laughs> and kept up with how many times we say the word fuck, yeah. it would probably go back and forth to where we didn't lose a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> and you'd be self-conscious, but in an episode, <laughs> somebody would do it more than someone else, Yeah, and that person would get money. Yeah. There it is. Next pod, we'll have a jar on the table. We should do the lantern. We should have a clean pod. Clean pod. Can't cuss or something really bad challenge. happens to you. That's a challenge. Something really bad will happen to you. Yeah, and that's a great idea. In the words of uh, game and terms, uh, no cussing in my Kristen Minecraft server. No cussing <laughs> in my Kristen podcast. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. Dude, Minecraft gets addicting. It is. Yeah. It's fun. I, I never got into that. Once you play it, you're like, no, this is pretty fucking cool. Do you remember- Why didn't that create more engineers or anything? I'd say it probably has. It has. Probably. Yeah. More graphic designers. Yeah. Graphic designers, yes. It, you can get creative with that for sure. Yeah, but that's what we should probably do. Have a clean pod. That, that's a good I don't know what happens to you if you cuss. We'll think about it. You got to get pinched really hard or... Smacked in the face. Nah, uh, fuck. That would get rough. That would get would. rough. People get mad. <laughs> I get pissed. <laughs> Remember yeah. when we used to play hot hands? Yeah, we used to play Chinese hot hands. I don't know why it's called Chinese hot hands. Is it racist? <laughs> it's not racist. Mm-hmm. It's just, <laughs> I don't think so. But uh, you grab each other's hand like or like that, yeah. and you take turns slapping each other's hands oh, hard yes. as hell. Oh, so Cole's like got that. the biggest hands. He's yeah. got little frying pans, <laughs> got little meaty hands <laughs> that generate some force. Force. And he, he's the heavyweight champion of the world <clears throat> in Chinese hot hands. I think I do remember playing that. It's like something you play when you're in, like, eighth grade. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> no, but we got to think of a penalty. Yeah. Because uh, we do say the F word. Too much. Way too much. Jesus. Yeah. Fudge. Now it just sounds like a... Frickin'. Yeah. Say frickin'. Frickin'. <laughs> you mother frick. You mother fricker. <laughs> yeah. That's so stupid. Duck. It is. Duckin'. Duck. Uh, that's what happens when you... When you're texting, going, I get a I go. Duck. I'm going through that right now with my new phone. Um, you know, I don't have, you know, autocorrect in my learned words, so I got to go back and start putting cuss words back into it. <laughs> yeah. Like, every time I try to type shit, it's like, hit, or... (laughs) My phone's got to learn how to keep up with the words I say. Mine, every now and then, when I type in the word fuck, a duck appears, like a duck emoji. I'm like, yeah. No, mine learned it very... Mine's all... It was all learned. Yeah. Like, when I would type... This is how bad it got. When I typed a G, it automatically popped up, goddamn. (laughs) Oh, man. (laughs) That's how... Deep my phone was. Right. <laughs> That's got to be the worst cuss word. No. Yeah. No. Because it so. only offends a certain group of people. True. I think one of the worst is cunt. It is. You it call is. someone a cunt. Especially if you're British. You fucking cunt. Yeah. Yes. That's powerful. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Like, the word cunt is so dirty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the dirtiest version of calling someone a pussy. Right. You know, you got a pussy, you got twat. Twat's not bad. You you little twat. That's like playful cussing. Yeah. You call someone a cunt, you mean harm. Yeah. You fucking prick. It's a, nah. <laughs> yeah, prick's That's not that GTA. Bad. GTA talk. Yeah, but I don't think GD's that bad. Depends on how... I mean, if you're religious, yeah. you might not like it, but it's only offending a real small group of people. Yeah. But if, if you notice, like, TV shows... uh. They try to avoid that. They do? Yeah. I thought, like, you could, uh, I thought that's one of the words you could say on a TV show. Like, like an a, FX like, show? Well, like, an FX show? Mm, well, now they're saying fuck. Are they? Yeah. Like, they're allowed one fuck in an episode. So, like, American Horror Story or, or like, an AMC, Better Call Saul, I've noticed that. <clears throat> yeah. They're getting Yeah, AMC lenient. says GD. 
friggin' Walter White's lawn, you're goddamn right. That's right, yeah. Yeah, you can say GD. I think it's it's a minimum, like, one per episode. That's got to be hard to write a script then. Yeah. You're just like, ugh. Yeah. I could say it here and it'd be great, but right. I can't because I already used it 20 minutes ago. Now, Netflix is... You can do whatever. Wide open. Yeah. But, uh... Let's see what we can get into next. Uh, Trista Leo. Yeah. Get that I was thinking of Netflix. I was thinking of the show. What you. was that video you sent me yesterday? I can get it up on my phone. I mean, I can find it. With it's the, Theo and... Uh, it's just a compilation Yeah. of all of them talking about Chris D'Elia. Yeah. And do you want to give an overview of what's going on with him right now? Okay. Go ahead and do that. So, it was Tuesday, I believe. There, he was. His name was trending, and uh, <clears throat> I go to read stuff, and it says that he's uh, he allegedly messaged multiple underage girls. Yeah, that one. I can I can pull it up on here too. Okay. But uh, he's messaged uh, underage girls throughout. I guess his success. And uh, they're they're finally coming out. It'd and be when he was on a road, right? Like when he would go do comedy tours in certain yeah, cities. Yeah, he would try to he would text girls from that city. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> they have screenshots of like emails, I get uh, Instagram messages saying uh, him basically saying, "Hey, uh, we should hang out." There was one that said, "Hey, I, I want to make out with you," and she was sixteen years old. <laughs> But uh well this is what I say about Crystalia his podcast he is very judgy yeah. towards people yeah he's very makes fun of people when bad things happen to them that's he, his that's his whole bit yes and uh he had a podcast very recent where he was talking about Pizzagate yeah and if you know anything about Pizzagate it's a conspiracy about politicians in Washington DC Having sex with kids in a basement of a pizza parlor. Yeah. And sex trafficking kids. Yeah. Like Epstein kind of shit. Right. I don't know if it's directly affected with Epstein, but he knows something about it. He knew something about it. Yeah. Which, I don't think pizza gets real. I've been telling people this for a while. Right. You can't assume every politician wants to fuck a nine-year-old. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Like, think about yourself right now. Yeah. Us. Our age, what we're into. If we got famous, why would we get the urge to fuck kids? It's ridiculous. It's not real. No. no, not every famous people wants to fuck a kid. Right. So I can't say that the current state I'm in, I would get famous and then want to fuck kids. Like, no. that makes no sense. Yeah. And Chris D'Elia had a, uh, he was talking about Pizzagate, and then he was like, he, he, he went on a rant about Hollywood. If you think everyone in Hollywood wants to fuck kids, you'd know about it. He's like... If I knew people in Hollywood were molesting and trafficking kids, I'd tell you about it. Yeah. He's and like, then this comes out. It. He's like, I'll tell you about it yeah. if it's in Hollywood. Because it doesn't. He said he didn't say it didn't exist, but he said I would tell you about right. it. And then it comes out that he's <laughs> and grooming the, young women. And the crazy thing is, he has played a pedophile in multiple, like multiple? acting jobs. Yeah, like either two or three. And you, yeah, he looks and uh, he looks the part. Yeah, he does. He does look kind of creepy. So play this compilation. All right. Of Crystalia. The talk. It's a bunch of. It's a, it's a bunch of like uh, it's a compilation of like podcasts of like his friends. Yeah, and then okay, just play. I never touched her. I don't have a thing for underage girls. This is insane. This is insane. The- I've already done the thing that buried me, and yeah. somebody's got a screenshot of it. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> and, and but so here's the thing, though. I, I think that we live in a time now where you've got to just like look. There, that shit's out there. It's videotaped somewhere. Somebody's got something. But tell me how they call it pedophile because that shit is crazy. Oh well, okay, I'll explain it. If you fuck someone under, well, let's just be conservative 17 i think that's the lowest it goes in america he, he like hesitates before he he tells it can you he's tell like, that he's like 
What's the age I've talked to right. <laughs> recently? Yeah. <laughs> How old is he? Forty. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. And you're your age. <laughs> then you would call it pedophilia, because, well, it's pedophilia. <laughs> He's got too much money. This one. And it, so this it, is this should be a message to your fans. Um, yeah. Rob him. Rob Chris. You know, you go see him, pretend you're a fan, go, oh, dude, I love your stand-up. Yeah. Psych. Gun out. Oh, I'm going to dress up like up. a 17-year-old girl, dude, go into his place, <laughs> fuck him, and then steal a bunch of shit. Wait, wait, he doesn't He doesn't fuck underage girls, though. No, dude, no. <laughs> no. But I'll have, actually, actually, that's funny. He's so Chris is so far from being a, a pedophile. I'll have just turned 18 that morning. <laughs> yeah, that was your birthday? Yeah. Chris is so far from being a pedophile. Everyone should know this on the internet, yeah. by the way. He won't fuck someone under 60. Yeah. No chance. Yeah. I've never 16. seen Chris hanging out with a woman under 60 in my entire life. He has that 43-year, yeah, he stays 43 years outside of possible pedophilia. Yeah, he loves that. And I that's mean, that 60 I, I year I think range. that's to keep him safe the more famous he gets. You know, that, Those days are well, are long gone. You ever see a fucking 14 year old? She looks 30. <laughs> Shit. Never see, there's no such thing as a 14 year old girl anymore. They go from like 6 to 25. God damn. And I yeah. don't trust those motherfuckers. And Chris D'Elia's cult, bro? I don't trust them either. That ain't gonna end well. That thing is going to end with everyone drinking Kool-Aid except Chris, and everyone dies. Well, a lot of the people are going to be drinking Kool-Aid because they're underage girls, probably. Oh, Jesus. That's why I'm guessing. <laughs> it's just in their natural <laughs> diet pattern. But All right, there's a tweet that says, Girls mature earlier than boys, but that's because you kind of have to grow up when creepy old dudes are always trying to be inside of you. He <laughs> tweeted that. In 2011. Yeah. And then here is uh, a screenshot of a text message. Of God, he's him. a horrible texter. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> hi, hey, sup. The usual, you know, you, same. So why the random contact, if I may ask? I don't know. I think you're cute, I guess. Fair enough. Tell me something good. You first. You should text. Fuck Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's funny. Oh, That's no. funny. He tweeted, fuck you haters, I have Kevin Spacey's direct office number. God, Kevin Spacey. I forgot about him. Yeah. But he was fucking boys. Yeah. <laughs> no matter. That is so fucking funny. Well, there is, there's another one where Theo Vaughn is talking about one of his friends. See, Theo Vaughn was in a Bad Baby music video. And I think this is what he was talking about. Let me try and find it. Let's see. Because Bad Baby's like 17. Yeah. But at the time, I think she was even younger than that. I think this is it. They're all 15, dude. That's a teenager, not a kid. (laughs) Jesus. One of the weirdest things. This one. So, you know, a couple of my friends knew about it. And I don't even know if I'm supposed to tell anybody about it. I I think he's talking about the music video. And my buddies are texting me, and they're like, Hey, man, that chick is so hot, bro. Set me up. I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? I'm playing a pervert, bro, because of guys like you. (laughs) Because of guys like you, I'm here, and this is the role I'm in. (laughs) So it was just intense, man. My buddies are like, set me up with her. I'm like, dude, I'm not setting you up with a child. That's a... So I had this theory of what if that was Chris D'Elia telling him. Yeah, that's why it's in a compilation. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. It's not looking good for him at yeah, all. Yeah, he didn't release a podcast. I was like, well, where's the pod? Yeah. Where's the pod? Yeah. And he ma- he did make a statement to uh, TMZ. Let me see if I can find did it. Did he actually say that? Or... Let's see. He has to get roasted now. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, this is what he this is what he said about it. I know I have said and done things that might have offended people during my career, but I have never knowingly pursued any underage woman at any point. Chris goes on to say, all of my relationships have been both legal and consensual, and I have never met or exchanged any inappropriate photos with the people who have tweeted about me. The thing apologized about something. Um. Let's see. Mm. 
apologize. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Jesus Christ. Well, it's nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> For us, like, like, it's nothing new. It's kind of like Vietnam and Forrest Gump. <laughs> yes. It just rains every fucking day. Uh, there I go with the F word again. Yeah. God, I'm tired of it. <laughs> tired of doing it. Stop it. Well, I think I remember what he said somewhat. He's like, I kind of got up in uh, my lifestyle, which is fame, and I'm sorry for uh, sorry for that. Sorry for what? I guess being a big flirt. And oh, okay. Yeah. I was about to say, what, what, when what's it comes that to, for? Like you're he, you're being, accused of grooming young women. He's, a, he's apologizing, getting caught up in the lifestyle, acting like thinking that he could uh, get anything he wanted. And I guess underage girls. Well, if you're 40, why, why do you need underage girls? <laughs> exactly. Or not, it, it, even if it happened 10 years ago, he's in his 30s. Why do yeah. you got to go after young girls if he's that famous? Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, like I told you about, like his, he he's always been wealthy. Like I think his dad has directed some stuff. So they've always had money. So I'm sure he's always gotten what he's wanted. But yeah. This ain't looking fucking good. No, and he's like one of my favorite comedians. Yeah, I mean we we love him, but after this, it's it's hard. <laughs> but uh, kind of like when Carl Lawson said, the, "Yeah, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, my favorite wrestler as a kid was Chris Benoit. Yeah, he kills his whole family. <laughs> yes, my favorite NASCAR driver was Kyle Larson." He's on Xbox Live like a child saying the N word. Yeah. One of my favorite comics is out here texting sixteen year olds. Yeah. Wanting to do them. What's that mean for me? <laughs> what? What's that mean for me? I don't Show. know. <laughs> don't oh, put this on the Oh God. <laughs> what dirty secret do I have? <laughs> oh shit. None, none of those. No, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I can control all three of those. Yeah. Uh, I just think it's coincidence. Yeah. yeah, it must be. That is tough. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know how you come back from that. In the podcast uh, world, um, you know, the ones I listen to, they're not saying anything about it, which is kind of weird because they react to everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's when it's your friends, you're different. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Did they know about it? They might from, know about from it. From what we're what from what we watched. When Brian Gallen on the fighter and the kid said, I've seen I've never seen him do something illegal. Well, I I don't think he was doing it, what he got caught doing, I don't think was illegal. He's texting these girls, we don't that's all we know. Yeah. That's not illegal to text girls. Right. Now, doing other things with those girls might be. Yeah. So, like, he might, I don't they know. might have a hunch of what he did yeah. or he's done. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe they were aware of the bad baby thing because they were joking about uh, uh, dirty secrets. And they what? kept. Yeah, there's another video. Pull it up. Let's see. He's like, we don't have any dirty secrets. No, the Lee is. He was right about uh, them always having something on you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had something on Jimmy Fallon because it was on national television. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Uh, Anything they cancel you, they're gonna have. Let's see. It might be this one. Let's see if I can find it. Is he with all of them? Yeah, it's with the fire and the kid. Um, so the guy says, like, everybody has a dark secret, and you're asking us to expose our darkest secret. Uh, that's what I thought, like, I don't know. This music, though. <laughs> Conspiracy. Little boy love. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> like he meant to do that. Yeah. Like he's like pause that. Like he's putting out little personal clues for people to find him. Right. That's what that's what conspiracy theorists do. They're like, it's obvious, it's right in front of you. Yeah. Like they're putting like they're putting that out there for you to chase them. Right. Are they all 
like that killer, uh, what's that guy's name? Luca Magnata? Yeah. Remember, remember uh, Don't Fuck With Cats, the mm. documentary? He's literally putting clues out there yes. for people to find him. Yes. Is everyone like that? Or is coincidences real? It, or coincidences real? We just discovered that with your, uh, uh, with your interest. With my, in. with my athletes and, you know, people I follow yeah. doing dumb shit. Yeah. Yes. I think this is it. Just watch their facial expressions, too. Everybody has a dark secret, and you're Burning. asking us to <laughs> expose our darkest secret. Uh, that's what we're. That's what we feel like. And and I thought like I don't really, I don't really, I don't really have a dark secret. I don't have a dark. You too shit me? No, no, I'm I'm a <laughs> I'm a both, but you well. just know me. You shit me? That's what I mean. Hey, I always hey, both hey, your dark hey, secrets. Hey, hey, you know hey, my hey. dark secrets. You know what I'm saying? I don't have one. <laughs> Look at the lid. Hey, what are you doing? Like that scientist. Here? What? About, oh, what? You, no, 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 I'm you saying, became so like you sinister? became like an old sinister? like an old crow. I guess I don't have like an old the dark secret. <laughs> Shit, they know something. Yep. <laughs> it slows it down <laughs> to make it creepy. With the music. There's that fucking laugh. <laughs> Porn, I see. I yeah. Like, yeah. You don't have that oh, shit. People do that shit. Of course they do. Of course they do. Oh, you mean like super? Oh, Chris, do you have any darts? No, of course not. <laughs> God. <laughs> this is amazing. Walbert yeah. from Fair. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of not like pissed off at him yet because I don't know nothing enough yeah. about it. But it's I, I'm not pissed. I'm kind of laughing. Because yeah. this is what he does. Mm-hmm. People do things, and he makes fun of them. Yeah. He does this, you make fun of him. Yeah. It's going against he his should, whole bit. Exactly. So I, I, I haven't been listening to many other podcasts in the last week. Are they even talking about it? Um, Rogan talking about it? Not yet. But th- there is a fight companion. So Tomorrow? Or tonight? Tonight. So I think oh, they'll, boy. they'll probably they bring it up. They need to spill the beans. Yeah. Well, not spill the beans. Like, don't, you know. When I say spill the beans, I don't mean say, like, what Chris D'Elia done or anything. Right, right. I'm talking about, like, mention it. Yeah. Someone bring it up. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't know if they will. <laughs> Eddie Bravo. Eddie Bravo. <laughs> Eddie Bravo. <laughs> Eddie Bravo. <laughs> what, what if Chris D'Elia is the ringleader of Pizza Gate? Because <laughs> <laughs> Chris D'Elia had a podcast <laughs> denouncing Pizza Gate. Yeah. We yeah. need to have a Pizza Gate episode. Yeah. We need to get a Pizza Gate well, We talked about the, the conspiracy pod that we Yeah, wanted. we need to have a Pizza Gate truther against me. Yeah. Then Hunter, doesn't Hunter Smith believe in that? Pressure Daddy? He's not, uh, he doesn't believe it. He's just like, it, the evidence is there, dude. <laughs> yeah. Just look into it. Right, right. <laughs> like, all, like a, a conspiracy theory. Yeah. They they secretly believe in it, but they don't want people to know that they believe yeah. in it, so they just put it, like, just look into it, man. It's out there. Uh, right. They, right. <laughs> they'll never own it. <laughs> now, the only people that own things are Tower 7 people. The mm-hmm. 9 11 yeah. conspiracy where they blew up the building. Yeah. The building that didn't get hit. Kind of just blew up on its own. Yeah, that's that's the one people are like, yeah, that that that's real. But yeah, Pizza Gate, you're not you're not getting any truthers. Right, you're just getting people saying, look into it. Yeah, and I've looked into it. I just don't believe everyone's capable of fucking killed fucking children. Like, right, everybody wants to fuck kids when they're famous. Give right. me a break. That Epstein documentary though, I didn't finish it. I don't like the. I didn't like it. It's it's, it's really stu- bleak. It's, it's really bleak. It's not enough information, yeah. and it's a lot of stuff I already knew. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff I already knew. Yeah, people are like he was friends with Trump. Uh, we knew that. Right. He's rich. He's friends with Clinton. We knew that. Yeah. We all knew that. However, Clinton did say he he never went to the Bill? island. Yeah, he never went to that island. He either said he never went or he only went once. But he's he's been multiple times. He's, he's been on twenty six flights with the man. Yeah. I flew with my buddies once. <laughs> yeah. And these aren't like giant uh, airlines. These are private planes. Right. you you got to be tight with somebody to fly with 26 times. Exactly. And Bill Clinton's a known pervert. Yeah. And Jeffrey Epstein's a known pervert mm-hmm. who supplies children to people. I'm not saying I believe it. Look into it. Yeah. <laughs> Just look into it, man. Just look into it, man. YouTube it's right videos. in front of you. <laughs> YouTube videos, man. YouTube. Rabbit hole. But yeah. Yeah. So uh, um, they can't sell me on that bullshit. Yeah. A lot of people losing this year. And um, you want to end it with somebody who is winning, who continues to win? 
Come MGK. <laughs> yeah. He, he is officially dating Megan Fox. Who was? MGK. Machine Kelly. Machine Kelly. Uh, <laughs> half rock. Half rock artist, half rapper. Rapper. Half yeah. uh, whatever else he does. Something else. Yeah. Well, there ain't much I can say about this because we talked about it a few weeks ago. Yeah. But he just continues to win. He's uh, he's setting up for a downfall. <laughs> Everything's <Okay>. going right. <laughs> Oh, You're geez. jinxing it. You know that Nickelback song? Something's got to go wrong because I'm feeling way too damn good. <laughs> Something's got to go wrong. Something's got to go wrong for MGK. Yeah. Something's going to happen. What if he fucks kids? Oh, God. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Just look into it. He, he's uh, in Hollywood. Uh, he has to have the urge to fuck kids. I tried he's to end this <laughs> episode on a positive note, and it goes back. But this is what people do. Yeah. <laughs> That's what people do. Anybody in Hollywood. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> or in showbiz. <laughs> There's always the pedophilia bubble that this certain group will run towards. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. Something's going to happen to him. Yeah. But all he does is win right now. Is Eminem going to sh- have him killed? For what? He can have Chris D'Elia killed. He, he's friends with D'Elia. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh. Something's gonna happen to MGK. Yeah. He's had an amazing 2020. He has. And we're only six months in. <laughs> we got six months to go. It, what if his downfall happens uh, in the second half of this year? Fuck. That'd be a roller coaster. Fuck. The opposite of uh, they got us in the first half. <laughs> they got us in the first half. Yeah. No. They're the Atlanta. He he could be the Atlanta Falcons. Remember they had the 28 yes. 3 lead on the Patriots in the Super Bowl? Yeah. Mm. And then fucking lost? Mm hmm. That could be MGK. Mm. Don't be the Falcons, MGK. <laughs> when was that Falcons? Was that, that wasn't last year. Was like two, it? Two, two years, years ago. ago. Yeah. Two or three years ago. But yeah. Just don't blow it. You're, you're doing everything right. Yeah. You have every guy our age is dream girl. Yeah. When we were children. Yes. Oh my God. You have her. Just try and find a way to keep her. He's killing it with the music too. I really like this, this rock. I like his rap. Move. I don't really care for that. Other stuff he's doing. I don't know. I prefer it. <laughs> this rap. I don't know. But yeah, I think that's it. That's all we got this week. No. Yeah. A lot of current current events. No. Yeah. A lot of current things going on. Hopefully we can get back into doing stupid pods then. <laughs> we got a conspiracy pod we want to do. Another taste test probably. Yeah. Multiple ones. Hey yo. But yeah. So uh, thanks for listening. Hell yeah. And we're out. We're out. Bye. Make sure to follow us on our social media platforms at DSOB Podcast. Email us at DSOB Podcast at gmail.com.